Jó napot kívánok! Sziasztok! Üdvözlélek! Tapolca Vasút Állomás! Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me and welcome to Tapolca Railway Station in Hungary. So, you may have seen the last video, we were down at Lake Balaton at Badachoin. Well, we've now come on the train, one of these funny little trains known as wheelie bins by British Railway enthusiasts to Tapolca. So there's a couple of things I wanted to show you around the area of the railway station, but firstly here's one of the um, newer trains you'll... Oh, and I love that sound. So, I love the, the um, sound they just played. These are the newer trains you'll see on Hungarian Railways. They're built by Siemens. MAV has 31 of these, although a few of them actually came second-hand from Greece, believe it or not. So, these things known as wheelie bins, they have an orange front like that one over there. They're non-powered and they can be hauled as coaching stock by a powered vehicle like this one. So I've just come on one of these from Balachoin. So we have one here. This is the powered vehicle and that will hold in. And there's another powered vehicle just pulling in the back. That is the one I came from Balachoin. It, it came in coupled to this one. He uncoupled, he's gone up there and now he's come back. So there's a lot of shunting going around with these vehicles. This was once a very common practice on French railways until they got more traditional multiple units. So they are a multiple unit in one sense, but the loco, or not the loco, but the powered carriage has to run round in the way a loco would at a terminus, if that makes sense. So here is the station building, looking very nice following a recent refurbishment. Oh, and one thing that I really like about these um, back on the wheelie bins again is if you go in the non-powered one you can sit in the back and you can get a backwards driver's eye view. Does that sound again? So if we wander this way we're going to go out towards the um, end, the other end of the station. Check track. If you look over at the depot there's a few more of these wheelie bins. Um, now if you can't... No, I want to go this way. If you're ever in Hungary and you see, you know, locos or units in the distance and you can't see the number but you can see them there's a great thing i'll put a link in the um, description called mav trackico so it's like a, a map of the whole of hungary and it has all mav and gsef trains on it so you can look them up so if you see a train in the distance you can look it up and work out which one it is you're seeing so when 117308 came to badachon i knew before I'd even got on it, before it'd even come into sight, I knew which unit I was due to be travelling on. Now, as we go up here towards the depot, there's something quite exciting I want to show you. You may remember a couple of years ago, we came here when I had an M62 event where eight M62s came here. Well, sorry, not M62s, M61 rather. Anyway. Here is an M61, or at least part of one. They've plinched the cab of M61004 here. So these are built by Nohab, Swedish company, and um, they're probably one of the most popular diesel locos in Hungary. So, okay, it's a shame the whole loco hasn't survived, but you know, it's nice that rather than scrap it all, they've, you know, kept this cab here for people to see, and it delights railway enthusiasts um, when they come to Tapolster, if you have a look here, you can see its works plate. So see, built by Nohab, built in Sweden in 1963. So, oh, and there goes the wheelie bin I came on. It's now run round its, um, its unpowered vehicle and he's heading off probably towards Keste because there's two separate single tracks which leaves that way. Turn One turns left for the Northern Shore Ballot on the other way goes to Keste, so um, or it might just be shunting around the depot, I'm not sure. So, yeah, this was just a quick little video really to show you to Pulse. So, what I'll do, I shall put a link into this video of when eight M62s arrived at this station. That really was an amazing sight. So, from Tapolsa Railway Station, thank you very much for watching. And oh, obviously, it wasn't going anywhere far because it's coming back this way so there's a lot of shunting going on if you like shunting of dmu cars come to Tapolsa. and if you like m61s 
come to Tepulcha and if you come here when they have the event where they bring as many as they possibly can between Christmas and New Year that is amazing so anyway from Tepulcha thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe comment tell your friends etc thank you very much for watching and goodbye this on that sir.